All right, this is where I'm going to start on this next unit called measurement. One of the hardest concepts that I've ever had to teach as a shop teacher, but yet it's fundamentally the single most important concept is measurement. If you cannot measure accurately, you cannot build anything accurately. And, and that's just the fundamental law of nature when it comes to construction and welding. Now I have an assortment of tape measures here. I've got this one, which we'll come back to in just a minute. But I have three others, which are all basically, you're going to see, look the same. All right, first thing, when we're measuring, zero is the end of the tape measure. And all of these have a hook so that it will hook on the end of the material and it will line up at zero. That is the theory. All of these are marked in inches. There are two major forms of measurement. There's our American, what we call imperial system, and there is what we call the metric or SI system. Now this particular tape measure has both. It has our inches up here at the top and it has centimeters down here at the bottom. What's the difference? Well, inches are fraction based for the most part. You will find tape measures where inches have been turned into 10 segments. Makes things a lot easier. But for most of us, we will need to come to understand the fractions based systems of measurement that we use every day. And I know I just said the F word. And guys, I cannot tell you enough how I understand where you're coming from. When I was growing up, math was great until I got to high school and the math teacher said, this is a college level algebra book and the back of my brain turned off. I've since come to, to do much better in those basic mathematical algebraic type concepts. And as a matter of fact, we use a lot of them here in the shop. We are always trying to solve for X. And if that scares you, this is gonna sound really bad, but you need to get over it because it's not scary at all. And I don't know what teacher, I don't know what parent has told you that you cannot do this that you are dumb or that you are stupid because none of you are. Math is just like learning another language and we're not gonna learn the whole language. We're not gonna become where we can read, write and, and speak it fluently, but we're gonna become conversational in this language. We're gonna get it down so that we know how to use it for what we need to use it for. All right, so here we go. You'll notice that all of these, there's a number line here, there's a number. The solid line that goes from one edge to the other on all of these tape measures is the major mark, it's the inch mark. The number is always to the left of the line. And, and yeah, you need to know your right and left. You'll notice that some of these lines come in different lengths. We'll get into that in just a moment. For most measuring instruments that we use, the fractional unit is 1 16th of an inch. All right, now, there are videos out there on YouTube that you can watch where, where the person's gonna tell you, this is so simple, you can just do it any time. I understand it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so let me put this down. So this is gonna be part one, just reading the tape measure. Okay, so here we go. So you have a tape measure. So here's my tape measure. 
zero is always the very end of the tape measure. And I'm gonna do my zero with the little line through it so you know it's a zero. One, or the units, are where the line goes all the way across. So these are whole units. Then there are 16 marks. Let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna put, put my half mark right about there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Remember that sixteen over sixteen equals one. Any number over itself equals one. Okay, so there are sixteen units on each one of these measurements. But now you're gonna go, but, 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 but some of these lines are different lengths. Well, here we go. You'll notice that the half one is half. This is the same as eight sixteenths, okay? Then every second one is a little longer. Okay, so far so good. Every second one is a little longer. But then every fourth one is a little longer still. All right, so now here's how this works. Well, two sixteenths, let me run this down here. Two sixteenths is the same as one eighth if we reduce it. So there are, okay, as we all know, let me do this for you. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 basic units. Okay, so that's all the marks. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, look at this. The little bit bigger marks may break that into eighths. There are eight eights in here that also equals one but then we got we've got these bigger marks well let's just take a look one two three four four fourths equals one wow and then we have this tall one in the middle. Well, that's one, two, two over two equals one. So all of these fractions, sixteens, eighths, fourths, or quarters, and halves are all represented on this tape measure between each number. You need to know your fractions. You need to know how to reduce your fractions. If you cannot do fractions, construction is not going to be your career. Welding will not be your career. Electrician, plumber will not be your career. Carpet laying will not be your career. You have to know how to do this. And I wish I could make it instantly easy for you, but that's why I'm doing this. So here in part one, we're taking a look at the tape measure. So again, there are 16 total marks between the units, and each one of these numbers is the unit. Of course, it's done in inches. Yes, this one had a hole burned in it. All right, let me get another one here. Okay, 
So there are 16 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 between the lines. Well, how do we, how do we use this to measure something? Well, here I have a piece of wood. I'm going to hook the hook on there. I'm going to roll this down here. And I'm going to bring this down. And let's take a look. Well, it doesn't quite go to six. Let me set this down here so I can do this. It doesn't go to six because there's the line for six. It does go past five. So for this first one, we know that it's going to be five and something. Well, let's see if we can figure it out. It's five, well, it's five and, well, let's just count. You know, when in doubt, do not be afraid to count the marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let's take a look. Is that closer? I'm going to call it 11 because it's closer to that mark. So it is 5 and 11 sixteenths. Will 11 sixteenths reduce? It will not. 11 is a prime number. The only thing that will go in there is 11. Well, let's, let's turn this sideways and measure this. Well, I've hooked it. It doesn't make it all the way to 3 but it does make it past two. So it's going to be two. Well, two and what? Well, let's count again. Well, hang on, do I need to count them all? No, I know it goes to half, and half is eight sixteenths. And it goes one more. Well, what's eight plus one? Eight plus one is nine sixteenths. And can that be reduced? Well, nine can be reduced by dividing it by three. Sixteen can only be reduced by dividing it by two or four or eight. So in this case, this cannot be reduced. So this is two and nine sixteenths and it's inches. Okay. One little tick mark equals feet. Two little tick marks equals inches. So this is two and nine sixteenths inches. Let's try one more. Got another, got another block here. Ah, uh, oh, this one's a little different. Well, it it doesn't go to four. It goes past three. Well, let's see. It's three. Well, now let's let's count. It's one, two, three, four. It is three and four sixteenths. Well, could I leave it like that? Sure, you could leave it like that. I'd end up counting it partially correct because you've got the right whole fraction. But this, four sixteenths can be reduced. Well, let, let's just see here. We can divide these by two. 4, 2 into 4 is 2, 2 into 16 is 8. Well, we can divide it again, though. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 4, or 2 goes into 8 four times. So this becomes, the whole thing is 3 and 1 quarter inches. This is why you need to know how to reduce. Let's uh, check one more measurement on here. Oh, that was that one. Let's see if it's square. No, it is not square. So let's let's check this. Well, it's not to three, because I can see the line for three, but it, it goes to, well, let's do some counting. And well, it looks like it lines up with that, looks like it lines up with that uh, longer mark. So let's count the longer marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, remember there's eight of those spaces. Okay, well, that makes this two and seven eighths inches. Can that be reduced? No, it can't. Now, if you had put down there two and 14 sixteenths, 
we could reduce that. We could divide that by two. That would become two and seven eighths. If you want to count all of the marks, that is perfectly A-OK -okay with me. All right. I'm going to put up some uh, pictures that I did from the first semester with some measurement practice, and I will want you to please give it a try. Hopefully this has helped because in the shop next week we are going to be doing measurement practice.